Hi, this is Thomas D from ApostleMod.com and today I'm going to introduce you to our project Mizuna Beam Cloud Computers. You've heard about cloud storage, iDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox and so on. NVIDIA's new tablet can stream video games from the cloud. Microsoft Asia and AWS are hosting servers for businesses. As you can see, the trend is going from traditional computing to cloud computing. Personal computers are the next step in the revolution started by the cloud. Mizuna Beam is a project by an independent startup. I started when I learned about such things as computer virtualization and remote desktop, and such programs as Citrix and VMware. So Mizuna Beam cloud computers are virtual PCs that are hosted on a server in the data center here in the US. You can access such cloud computers by logging into our website apostlemod.com. The free beta is available now, so you can go and give it a try. So let's go to a computer so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here we are at a Chromium OS netbook that I built from a previously Windows netbook and installed Chromium OS, which is similar to Chrome OS, which is the operating system on Chromebooks. So as you can see, it requires minimal hardware and it's a very uh, minimal operating system. It has all the uh, features for the web and uh, for networking, but not too much um, for storage or for playing video games. You can do that. Uh, Chromebooks are not designed for that. So that's where Mizuna Beam Cloud Computers become very handy. So let me log into one of my cloud computers. And here we are. A Mizuna Beam Cloud Computer running Windows 8.1 on a Chromebook within a web browser so it's a um, Chrome browser it's Google Chrome and inside of this tab we have a Mizuna Beam Cloud Computer which is uh, an entire operating system with hardware so inside as you can see this is all Windows applications a uh, nice li uh, little Windows desktop but it's within a web browser so I can minimize the window and we are back to Chromium OS and I go back to the web browser oh and there we go and we have a nice Windows 8 personal desktop in the cloud and here it is again Windows 8.1 desktop within a uh, Google Chrome web browser on Mac OS. Now that it's maximized the desktop is going to resize itself and as you can see it feels as if I have a um, Windows operating system within um, Mac OS. Now we are at a Linux computer as you can see this is Ubuntu distribution and the same website apostlemod.com and so I'm going to give it to try to log in to Mizuna Beam Beta. And here we are again in the Windows desktop on Ubuntu Linux operating system. And here we are at another netbook that's running uh, Windows XP on it, it's uh, really old, it's very legacy. And so we are within Tor browser and we are going to apostlemod.com and logging in through this interface. So this is my virtual simulation of Android. So it's like a virtual tablet. So we go to the browser app and as you can see this is apostlemod.com. We go to free beta and go to the link. And we go to Cloud Computer 1. 
And as you can see, Mizan Avium Cloud Computers works on Android as well. And the rest of the tabs are still open. And Mizan Avium Cloud Computer is just one of these tabs. And if I wanted to um, uh, go back to my Android uh, list of apps, here they are, and going back to the browser, voila, our cloud computer is still there. So as for iOS, it's not yet possible to access cloud computers over uh, the web interface, as you've seen I did on Android, Mac OS, Ubuntu Linux, and a bunch of other operating systems. So in case of iOS, in case of um, iPad, you have to actually, oops, uh, you have to use something like TeamViewer to um, to access your cloud computer. So as you can see, it works really smooth, and it's uh, it's uh, literally uh, awesome to see Windows operating system on iOS. And if you put it in in a case with a keyboard like that, it feels as if your iPad is um, a legitimate uh, Windows uh, notebook. And here we are at the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I uh, have a default installation of Raspbian. Um, here we go. And uh, I just remote desktop into one of my cloud computers. And as you can see, we have a fully functional Windows 8.1 desktop on an extremely minimal hardware zero client Raspberry Pi. As you can see, it's just this small device the size of a, uh, of a hard drive from a laptop. See, it's, it's even actually small. It's the size of a credit card. It has very minimal um, hardware. And as you can see, I hooked it up to a monitor, keyboard, a mouse. So I'm still experimenting with Raspberry Pi. I couldn't um, make cloud computers available over the internet and with a nice user interface within a web browser. I couldn't do that yet, but as you can see, it works with a remote desktop um, program that you can install from the terminal. It's um, a pretty impressive thing that you can uh, have such a big operating system as Windows 8 within Raspberry Pi. If you are interested in buying a cloud computer, you have a chance to pre-order it now by supporting our Kickstarter campaign. There are two types of cloud computers that are available as a reward for a contribution. For $800, you will get a power cloud computer that will satisfy your everyday computing needs. And for $1,200, you will get an elite gaming cloud computer that is built for gaming and advanced graphics. Thank you for watching. Bye.